What's up, what's up, what's up, guys, what's up, guys? How are you doing? How has been your week? How has been everything? This is Ove Gilberto, and welcome to my channel. If this is really, really your first time, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. So right here is a big song today I've brought before you. I've been trying to play around. That is Dio, Dio by Ruga. Ruga flow? <laughs> That's more of raga. In this thing, these people of raga, they play really very simple grooves, but when the grooves are really on point. So people who love playing too much, you need to learn raga. Because there's a lot of secrets in raga, especially for bassists. So uh, to get started, uh, pick up your bass and we break down this. This is breakdown time and it's going to be fun. So I transcribed the song. The song only has four chords. Four chords, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there are five, five chords. You can see A minor, D minor, G, sorry, A minor, D major, G, C, and B minor. You see? That's all, five chords. But even here, there's a lot of rest in between, you know, and that's the quality of a good bass. So I transcribed the song. For those of you who can read the best notes, you have the best notes down there in the look. And I'm going to put this whole PDF, uh, that uh, I'm going to put the whole transcribed PDF in the description. You're free to download it. Just click on the PDF link and you just download it for free, for free. I just made it for you guys. So if you can read music, you're safe. The best notes are there. Just have fun. Just have fun. And so uh, let's see how to move it. This song starts with the key, with the chord of A minor, which is, uh, in that case, I think I mentioned for you the key. I didn't. Okay, the key is G major. So it starts with A minor, as you can look on the chord chart down there with the bass notes. It's a A minor to D major, then G, then C, B, a minor D, G, C, B. So in numbers, two, five, one, four, three, two, five, one, four, three, two, and that's all. <laughs> so why have I brought this song? It's because most people, if you're, you're on gigs, people play it and then. Why do you think most people want you to play? And for session players here in Kampala, you know that people ask you to play so many things. It's because people don't have patience of playing classically. Classically means playing things the right way, the way they are supposed to be. So it's not so good sometimes to play things the way they are, but it's very, very, 90% very important because you know things according to the originals. So that's the song. The best notes, those who can read, it's A, A, rest, D, rest, G, rest, C, B, A, rest, D, rest, G, rest, C, B, that's all. And you're done with the song. It's not very, boom, boom, rest. Four, three, two, five, rest, one, four, three, two, and you're done with the song. And so for if you're looking for us, this song, very many people might have played it different ways, but that's how I hear the bass line is played. And you can look at my transcription and let me know in your comment section. That's all I had for you as a simple tune, as simple tune as that, Dio by Ruga. And so go and have fun, play that song, play it in and out. Just do it your own way. If you feel uh, this, I told you this is the classic way, how it was recorded now. It was, but I told you I've been on gigs and someone tells you can't play this. So, uh, ba, 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 ba. Except if the band you're playing with, they are so sensitive for correct music. But other people say, add in something. <laughs> Mm, 
that's now another bass line. So that's the problem. But I always love learning songs the way they are classically. So have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. God bless you so much. See you next week in more upcoming series of lessons, song covers, tutorials, and so on. Bye-bye.